Growing up, I didn't really know my dad. I didn't know what he looks like, sounds like. I possibly could walk past him, but I wouldn't know. When I was about eight, my mum met my stepdad. He sort of took me under his wing as his daughter. He's diabetic and there was just like loads of complications. They had to operate on his eye. Throughout that whole time, he pretty much lost his vision. I just said to my mum, well, I'll just be his carer. Went from being able to do for himself to needing someone with him to help him. Like I did the first two years of my course. But uh, around that time, my mum got quite ill. Felt like I was obligated to help her. I was very like, aggressively impulsive because of my uh, difficult past. This one trip I had when I was 11, and I went to Afghanistan with my parents, and uh, I got lost. I ended up in the hands of uh, what I now think to be Taliban. And I was held there for like two months. I was just constantly afraid. That's how I remember it. That's what I remember feeling. I ran as hard as I could. I mean, I still remember how much my feet hurt. As soon as I would feel frustration, like my impulse would be to just, just lash it out wherever, whenever. Because of that, I grew up to be such an angry kid, not knowing what to do with my feelings. What can I say? It was one appointment that I went with him to. We went to the hospital and they put the lens in front of his eye and he actually saw me. It sort of just clicked in my head. I was like, he doesn't need to depend on me as much as I think or thought he did because he, he was just able to do a lot more. You don't realise how hard it is to get a job until you're out of a job. I took care of my mum for almost a year. That's when I... Started to look for work. Popped into the job centre and uh, met a couple of the spear coaches there. It was the first day that I actually went into the job centre and as I was coming out, Ingrid stopped me. She told me about spear and she said, oh, we've got this um, open day, um, you should come along. I thought it was worth a try to just go to their first day. And it seemed genuine. You just have group sessions with kids who are in the same boat as you. One of the key factors for me is just confidence. And I also learned that when you're applying for a job, experience doesn't necessarily have to only be from work you've previously done. It can be taken from your own personal life. The person who was mock interviewing me, he was quite impressed with me just with the way I spoke and the way I presented myself. And he turned out to be a partner at the place I work at now. He brought me into the company. I guess you could say I was under a dark cloud and going to Sphere, you're not being judged, it's just you get to be yourself, learn about yourself and how you can improve yourself. I could see that in the past, I was in a victim mentality. Realising that I could be better than that really was empowering. And it gives your confidence something to stand on when you don't have it in the first place. I'm a facilities assistant at a law firm called Lewis Silken. So I'm now working at Carphone Warehouse in Selfridges and I've been working there for just under a year since completing Sphere. Seeing where I am now, it's just like, look at how far you've come and look what you've done. 
I'm actually going somewhere. I feel like um, things are turning for the better. <laughs>